Hi, Johnny S. from Johnnyville Woods down in downtown Cleveland. Um, I just kind of think the whole theory behind the uh, Cleveland Indians was to what our Native Americans were here. And uh, I kind of think by putting it away, uh, people kind of forget about them and that they were the originals here. Um, that's my take. I think by burying them, it, uh, burying the Indian, buries a, a piece of the Indian tradition. Uh, John Reap from North Olmstead. Uh, I think it's a terrible decision to get rid of the chief. Uh, I've been a been a Cleveland fan for 55 years and lived in this city for my whole life. And uh, go Tribe, Wahoo. Hi, my name is Tony L. Owens from East Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, it's a sad shame that uh, Chief Wahoo was, will not be a, a fixture of the Cleveland Indians anymore. So um, uh, it's a sad day in Cleveland that it, it has a, this occurrence has happened. I'm Gary from uh, downtown Cleveland. Um, I think that in this day and age, no team should have a mascot that offends any group, nationality, or religion. Um, and if the Chief Wahoo offends the natives, then why not change it? I'm Cindy Kelly, and I think Chief Wahoo should remain because he's been around such a long time, and he's actually just a caricature. He doesn't mean any harm to anybody. Oh.